Hello. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new profile in my Tune G9X open firmware. Failed telemetry at this point. And I'm going to create a new profile from my fly flying wing. Okay, so first, what you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out the propeller. I'm gonna cut my fingers around here. Start the radio. Power up. Okay. Okay, so at this point I have my my glider on, which is this one. So I need to create a profile for my my flying wing. Okay, for that, just push the minus button, and it will appear the to pop up the model menus and loading model just keep it squeezed it will load the new model model 02 obviously this will be like i don't know what mode so you might you need to figure out that how to figure out just type the right button and a few times until until you will find the mixer and here you will see like a bunch of channels that can be mixed between so I don't want this here. Channel one, I have the motor. Okay. Okay, this is telemetry, this is something else, exit, uh, okay, so first you need to put it in the mode that you, you want it, mine will be mode 2, and that you can find on the bottom screen of the radio setup. This is mode one, and I know on this channel I have my on channel three I have my motor, and channel one and two I have my ailerons. So it has to be, it has like a schematic here, and it has to be rudder, throttle, left and left right and up and down okay ailerons and telemon and it's like that okay so get out of here go the model mixer and put 
give it once and after that just keep exit give it once select it and press exit press and keep exit okay let's give it one select it press and keep exit do not press and keep menu it will put you to to the settings okay so channel one it should be for me ailerons which is this challenge so ailerons okay exit i have one ailerons okay channel two it will be I think Elevon, I, I don't know, I don't remember what I put it in the other one. Okay, you need to have one Eileron and one Elevon. Okay, after that, go back to the channel, give it one and pull it down. That way you will double the... Give it one and pull it down. Okay, pull it down and push menu keep menu and put the other the, in my case router either one what this will do it will mix these two the first and the second that you put it between the, the it will mix the channel one with the channel that you assigned uh, the next channel in my case Okay, after that just go to the second channel, give it one, and pull it down, okay? And save it, like with menu. After that, keep it pushed, and put in the other one, the, the other one. That way it will go both, it will go both ways. Okay, exit. And that's all. If you go right, the right side will have to go up, and the left side it have to go down. Okay. If you go left, the left side has to go up, and the right side has to go down. Okay. The problem right now is going down and up. The problem right now is going up and down, okay? And this is made with the with the mixes. Now one of these values has to be on minus. Now they are all on positive. You have to do uh, a mix that one of these values has to be on negative. So mostly I think that is the second one just keep it push go to the value and pull it down and next now when obviously i did it the, the other way around get into the menu and put this value at positive 100 okay I'm gonna exit and put the other value at negative 1 I think this will do the trick Let's see. Okay, but obviously this is inverted. When I pull the stick, the eyeliner has to go up 
so they are going down. So, this being said, this value should be unpositive as well. So I'm going to put it unpositive. And I'm going to change the aileron. I'm going to put that on negative. This is like the second or third time when I when I make a profile on this station and this radio. But basically, what it needs to be done is figure out how it works. I only have two planes, so yeah. Okay, right now I see what I want to go right, go left, go down, and go up. Now the second thing that you that you need to do with this uh, with any airplane is figure out the the range of the of the island one. Now I know for a fact that. With a 100% range, with this servo and these ailerons, it will fly very poorly. I will have a very poor, poor control on this flying wing. So I need to put less less range on the on the ailerons. So again, this you should probably start with a small range. If you know that your uh, model it's more aer aerobatic and after that work your way up from there or just go into the field and try it and crush it and try it again I know for a fact mine has to be around 35% I'm probably mistaking but I don't think so So I'm just going to put all the, these values on 35%. That way the, the ailerons it will not go up like 2 centimeters. It will go up only 0.5 centimeters, 5 millimeters, and that will be enough to, to control the, the wind. experience with this thing, this one should be enough. So the last thing that I need is throttle, which will be on channel 3 on my, on my receiver. So just push and hold and look for throttle, which is this one. But because I, when I start the model, when I start the model, the throttle was idle in the middle because it was in the other side. It will start when uh, past half. So I'm gonna save this, and the throttle has to be 100%. Well, if you have another gas motor, or uh, you don't want to put so much button into your motor well we can triple that out but it usually has to be plus one positive 100 percent because if you put negative 100 percent the throttle will be it will be down 
So I'm gonna do right now is exit the settings, go to my okay, unplug it, unplug the gear, put the throttle down, start it up, connecting on. And that way you will have the throttle at the bottom. Depending on your ESC and your motor, it will work better or not so better. My ESC is not a, this is not a perfect ESC, like a performance for quadcopters or thing like that. So I don't really expect much for it. Just put in, putting in power and not in the leader way and when anyway i will use this only for the wings so for more okay i need to change the name Okay. I just forgot how that needs to be done. Ah, okay, I need to hold the press. first on each setup you have like screens this has like 10 screens and on the second screen you will find the first setting that it be it's the name so I need to put the name here push the menu button and after that just left right and up down it will be the letters this will call I'll call it Saggy, saggy. This is my flying wing, so it's a saggy. So exit that, and you will find it here. So that's all. And change it between it, just the left button, up and down, select with menu. Thank you for watching, bye.